if in equation number 2 we substitute y is equals to s plus t in this equation if i substitute as y is equal to s plus t i observe that it is s plus t cube plus a times s plus t plus is equals to b right so if i substitute in equation number 1 y is equals to s plus t i can compare my equation number 2 and equation number 3 then by comparing equation number 2 we are comparing this two equation then we observe that on the place of a I have this so my a is equals to minus 3 st my b is equals to this cube plus okay first we have substituted x is equals to y minus b by 3 for that we thought we are going to find the value of y and then we say now after getting an equation a depressed cubic equation in terms of y we are substituting s as s plus t and we got some relation of s and t so now our aim is to find the value of s and value of t right? by using this two equations we have a two equation so from this equation i can write s is equals to a by minus 3s which we can write like this if this i substitute in this equation what I am going to get is my b is equals to s cube plus on the place of t what I can write as minus a by 3s cube. Now we will going to solve this equation and we are going to find the value of s, then find the value of t, substitute in this equation then by value in this equation. Right? So I need to rub something. So this part I will rub and we will solve that equation. Okay. Okay, over here it is B, B. so in this section I should complete okay from that my B is equals to S cube minus A cube by 3 cube will going to be 27 S cube. now we will try to solve this we will going to get as 27 S cube is equals to 27 S raised to 6 minus A raised to 3 it, okay, here there should be some beta. We are multiplying. All right, ah, that's correct. So now again we can have a simplified version like this. It is minus twenty-seven s cube. B is some constant. We should add it ahead. Minus a cube is equal to z. Okay. We started with the cubic equation. We got again a cubic equation by substitution. After this substitution, from the cubic we got an equation with the power six. So we are making our complex system, right? We are going more complex. So we want to solve this equation. By looking at this is a 6 power equation, so it might be tough, but it's really easy. We can write s raised to 6 as s cube square minus 27b s cube minus a cube is equal to 0. Now this is a term of as a quadratic equation the solution of the quadratic equation we know so s cube value should be equals to minus of b my b is this so minus of b means 27 b plus or minus square root of b square means minus 27 b square that is 27 square b square minus will get on the power if we are 2 minus will get cancelled minus 4 into a my a is equals to 27 and c value is minus into minus a cube so this is my determinant delta value divided by 2 into a value is 27 this is by minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 so we got this so my s cube value will going to be equal to now we will take this inside so it will become 27 b by 2 into 27 plus or minus if this term goes inside this it should be squared so it will become 27 square b square by 4 into 27 square we should square it right this term i am taking inside the bracket inside a square root right so it should get square 
and it is 4 into 27 a cube it will get plus now minus minus divide by 4 into 27 square correct so something will get cancelled is this right this and this will also get cancelled 4 4 get cancelled and this is power so we got the value of s cube as b by 2 plus or minus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube by 27. Now we got this value of s cube. We want to find the value of p cube. Okay. So we will find the value of p cube. I should rub this now. Okay, we, I should be supposed to. Okay, now in the equation, um, in this equation, well, okay, in this, this is my equation number 4, we will take. In this equation, if I substitute the value of s cube, okay, over here we found that we have a two values. We will take any one of the values, we will take a plus value. Uh, take this value, s cube is equals to b by 2 plus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube by 27. We are considering only plus term. There are two terms, right? One in a plus, one in one. We are considering the plus term. If you proceed with the minus one, you will get the same value of five that you can verify. We will consider only the plus term. Now, if in this if this equation, if this value, I substitute in equation number four, I will get my b is equal to s cube plus t cube. In this, if I value, substitute this value, what I am going to get? This minus s cube is equal to t cube. So my d cube value will going to be equals to b minus b minus something b minus x cube value that is b by two inside the bracket it should be it should be square root of b square minus four plus a cube by twenty seven so my t cube value will going to be this is in plus this is minus so it should be b by two one minus half it will become a minus. So if my s cube value is, if I take it in a plus, I will get like in a minus. If my s cube value, we consider it to be in a minus, then by the same steps, I am going to get a plus over here. So we observe that this value are getting interchanged, there will be a no difference in a value of 5. If we start with a plus or we start with a minus. So we have started with a plus. Now I got the value of s. My s will going to be what? It will going to be cube root of this. It is b by 2 plus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube by 27 and my value of p will go to be a cube root of this that is b by 2 minus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube by 27. I have found the value of s and t. I will substitute in this equation. Now I should rub, just we know other, yeah? So now what I am going to do, I know, y is equals to s plus t. We got the value of s and t, now we are going to back substitute all the values. Wherever we have make a substitution, we are going to make the, put the value over it. So my y is equals to, it should be the cube root of b by 2 plus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube, it is 27 a cube by 27 plus value of t is cube root of b by 2 minus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube by 27. Now if this value of y I substitute in my equation this this substitution what I am going to get we have x is equal to y minus b by 3 right. If in this equation, if I substitute the value of y, my x is equal to cube root of b by 2 plus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube by 27 plus cube root of b by 2 minus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube by 27 minus b by 3. And this is about formula and this is our solution for this equation if we substitute the value of a b uh, all the value capital a, a and b 
if we substitute the value, we are going to get a real root for our equation number 1. So we have found the real root for our equation. Okay? Uh, with this, I wind up with this.